So my name is Larry Pickett. I'm co-founder and CEO of RX Data Science. Uh, we apply data science to healthcare data to improve patient outcomes and also lower the cost of care. The way that we do that is by empowering our customers who are pharmaceutical companies with the information they need to make better data-driven decisions. So what we like to call ourselves is we're really BI and analytics that's opti optimized for the pharmaceutical industry. So what is the problem that we're attacking? So it was mentioned a little bit earlier about the, you know, the huge volumes of healthcare data that's out there that's very difficult to access. So what's happening is, is pharmaceutical companies are spending tens of millions and the larger companies are actually spending hundreds of millions of dollars every year on data. And that data is patient data, real world data, claims data, prescription data, laboratory data, et cetera. So they're bringing that into their organizations. They also have their own proprietary information around clinical trials, drug safety, CRM, et cetera. Um, so they've got all this data. The problem is, is it's actually sitting in all these different silos across the entire organization. And on top of that, there's a set of tools and technologies which are very old and outdated. They're slow. They're not suited for purpose in terms of linking this data together and making meaning of it. Meanwhile, CEOs are challenging you know, the IT departments, the analytic groups, commercial groups to make use of their data. They're trying to launch new products, they're trying to bring new medicines to market, et cetera, leveraging this data. And we had one CEO said, we really want to use data to competitive advantage. The problem is they can't. The current tools are really not suited to be able to access and integrate that data the way these businesses need. So our solutions allow companies to go in and unlock the value of this data and help them grow their businesses. This is a massive problem space. I, I had seen John actually, John Doerr mentioned this on one of his YouTube videos when he was interviewed before, but, and, and it was said earlier, is the three trillion dollars in the healthcare industry spend today. Pharmaceutical companies spend 300 billion. There's a 20 billion projected spend for uh, BI and analytics tools. Our goal is to attack and capture 5% of that market over the next several years. So how are we gonna do that? We have, uh, unlike general purpose BI, which allows kind of a non-programmer, an analyst to go in and query maybe one individual data set, we have unique purpose-built software solutions, we call them micro apps, that solve very, very specific business problems. They, they enable our customers to be able to answer the most challenging business questions very, very quickly. Because this is re residing on a very, very powerful advanced analytics platform, in addition to the apps and the platform, we also provide uh, data science consulting services for our customers. So uh, why do companies want to work with us and what is our differentiation? Uh, my team, I come out of the farm industry and most of my team do as well. So we know the business, we know the data, we know the environment, we know the objectives in terms of what these companies are trying to improve, uh, achieve, which is actually bringing new products to market and then bringing those uh, medicines to, to the healthcare population overall. So we know that business and we have that domain expertise. Uh, secondly, we're leveraging a very powerful, we call it kind of a secret Wall Street technology. And the reason we call it secret is because it's really not been that well known because the Wall Street companies are using proprietary uh, algorithms around high frequency trading to trade billions of dollars every day. So they keep this secret. The way we found out about it is that my previous company, we hired a couple of data scientists from Wall Street. So they brought us this technology and we found that it was applicable to healthcare and pharma. So we've adapted this Wall Street technology. We've licensed it. So we're the only ones that can actually provide this. We've licensed it and we're bringing it to the market. Um, it's a, a very unique advantage because no one else is actually attacking the problem in this particular way. So the combination of the deep domain expertise plus this proprietary technology enables us to be able to generate answers and solutions and solve business problems much faster. We can actually do it at a quarter of the cost and half the time of any of our competitors. So some of the sample products, you know, we've talked about the micro apps and the apps and the solutions. Here, we have a whole suite uh, that we're working on of products, 
but one is a patient journey visualizer, another one is a managed care profitability modeler, and then finally rare disease patient finder. So I'll, I'll talk briefly about the managed care profitability modeler. So pharmaceutical companies are, have contract negotiations with payers. So these are typically health insurance companies, PBMs, and other people that, that pay for the medicines. So what they're doing is negotiating a rebate percentage to get access to a certain number of millions of patient lives, and that translates into market share. But they're trying to really determine what do they have to pay in order to get that access. And so it's a, it's a modeling exercise. They have many, many different contracts over the years, and it's hard for them to remember what their assumptions were and what really constitutes a good deal. So our tool allows them to key in the information and the variables and be able to then plot different scenarios and see what the range of contract profitability and the acceptable range might be. We call it deal, no deal. So uh, we have some early customer traction. Uh, five out of the top 20 pharma companies are, are customers in the first year. Um, but we're really not growing as fast as we would like, so we want to pick up the pace. We need capital to do that, to add to our team, fill our gaps and our talent, et cetera. So if there's any investors here that would like to speak, I'll be at the back of the room at the end of this session and would love to talk with you. Thank you for your time.